Happy Halloween. It's not Halloween. It's just October. But we do spooky things throughout all of October. This is, um, Spooptober games. Some really weird ones. And some ones that look really good. So we're gonna do, uh, today, a variety of Halloween-esque games. Uh, including some stuff on Steam, some stuff not on Steam. And, well, you'll see. So, what are we starting with? Spooptober is not a real holiday, but it's my favorite holiday. <laughs> Poopy Playtime. <laughs> Sorry, it's po it's Poppy. Poppy Playtime. Um, chapter 1, a tight squeeze is an ex-employee of Playtime Co. You'll finally return to the factory many years after everybody within disappeared. Oh, God. Is this Friday? Friday night at Freddy's? Or, you know, similar. You are about to see the most incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe? Just watch. Believe it. Poppy Playtime! Poppy's as lovable as a real girl. Hi, my name is Poppy. I love you. Can you help me polish my shoes? Why, of course, Poppy. Nope. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect. Thank you. Her hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush it. And smells just like a Poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl. Just we, like you. We can just not buy this. The time? Playtime! We can just throw it in the garbage, it's if fine. If you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just $2.99 a month. Ah, yes, doll arms. The entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. We can't... <laughs> okay, it's not quite... That Furby game I played. The fake Furbies. But this looks very... Weird. Everyone thinks the staff disappeared ten years ago. We're still here. Find the flower. Alright, uh, yep. I'll do that. So is this considered Doll Factory? Uh... Looks like it. Okay. Whoa! Whoa, that motion blur is... fucking intense. That resolution... is... very bad. So, we'll lower the mouse speed a little bit. Get the FOV up. Graphics beast! Get rid of motion blur. I don't mind if motion blur is on, but only like a little bit. And it also doesn't really... Oh, there's an apply up here. Hang on. Um, it doesn't really work well with streaming or recording. That their motion blur. Oh, the mouse smoothing is, is kind of weird in this game so far, but that's okay. It's... It's a spooky game. Okay, VHS collected. Hi, my name is Leif Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent childcare, we also pride ourselves on our security. For example, 
This facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, will turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. And that's one of the more tame aspects of our security. Flamethrowers in the wall. No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. No spoilers. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. Well, I wouldn't be here in real life. This would be avoided. That looks like the Vine bot from Vine Realms. This would be avoided at all costs if I had one friend that was like, no, let's go into the abandoned toy factory. Really? You'll have a great time. We might even be able to get some toys, bro. I'd be like, I'm good. I don't want to be in here. No flashlight so far, as far as I can tell. Eat healthy like brawn. Okay, how do I... How do I advance? Poppy wants to play. Uh... Hmm. Okay, gotta figure that out. So there's puzzles. <laughs> and there has to be a clue here somewhere. Unless the videotape said... I don't think it would've. Maybe. Well, we could just leave, too. Then I'll have wasted five dollars. Computer you can't interact with. There's nothing here. Um... Okay, so I don't think we can interact with the VCR again. I'm gonna try. No. Gift shop seems devoid of anything useful. Seems is the key word here. It's the operating word. Um, really just have to kind of guess. Red, yellow, blue. Mate, I'm already stuck. The thing hasn't even started yet. Anything in the garbage? <laughs> Anything in the computer? Let me check the controls. Interact is just... E. Okay. I'm gonna look over here one more time. God. Uh, I really hope it's not just like some obscure clue that's in the corner somewhere. You know what I mean? Like some piece of paper that's in a dark corner that I have to pick up that has the code written on it. That would be kind of dumb. I mean, I would also assume that it's the color of the facility, which is red, blue, yellow, and white. So it's like, red... Hmm. It's not helping me. Yeah. Okay. Well, if the tape... If the tape did give away the code... Then I wasn't paying attention enough, so I need a minute here. Sorry. Well, I both feel dumb, but also slightly vindicated. Green, pink, yellow, red. So that's the level of observation I have to make while playing this game. Ah, 
God, there it is. I think this game needs a frame limiter badly. Unless it does. Never mind then. I feel like a dope. Ignore. Ignore. Dumb suggestion. Ignore. Tighten the straps. Hold both cannons. Pull trigger to fire. Pull again to retract. Hold to grip onto object. Only fire at small object's handles. Do not fire at co-worker. This may cause injury. Wire is conductive. Use for rewiring. Oh. Okay. Interesting game mechanic already. Open. Open. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's better than the gravity gun, almost. Wow. Th this is a very... This is a very strange game so far. Playtime Co. has designed hundreds of distinct toys, but none connected with people more than that of Huggy Wuggy. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, aimed to create a toy which could hug you forever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. With a bit of string and polyester, our lovable pal Huggy was brought to life. Huggy Wuggy has gone on to be Playtime Co.'s most popular and best-selling toy so far. I, I wanted to give it a high five. Hang on. High five. Okay, that's broken. Yeah, something weird is going on with the frame rates here, like, or at least it's just kind of jittery. I don't have the red hand yet. Okay, that didn't help or do anything at all, actually. But, uh, let's see. Okay, I can kind of glitch inside of that for a second. Oh, that's a thing. Oh, it was like a yellow key. Alright, I see. Remember, do be kind to others. Show up on time. Not hide behind doors to scare Lath Pierre. What does that mean? Don't scare Lath Pierre, okay. Ready to di divert some power. Okay, wow. Okay, this, this game is actually pretty legit. In it. Wow. Uh, yeah, just sadly, it's a little choppy here and there, but otherwise this game so far is pretty cool. It's the Unreal Engine. Where did it go? Hey, boys and girls, where did it go? Uh-oh. 
buggy. Huggy's the next big thing in video games. No! No, that was... That's good. We don't have to go that way. Okay, we have to go that way. Warning, do not enter. Oh, there's another tape here somewhere. Look around, see if we can find a tape. VHS tapes have a weird smell to them. It's not that it's weird, it's just very distinct. Now, you may say, Vinny, why are you going around sniffing VHS tapes? Someone was kind enough to give me Ren and Stimpy VHS tapes. And I have a friend that's really into VHS and old videos. And, uh, it's something he did. And I was like, oh yeah, let me, let me see what that shit smells like. <laughs> this is weird conversation, but it's true. They, they smell kind of cool. I don't know what that was. Okay. Okay, so we needed four of those? Total? Didn't expect a puzzle game. I mean, it's not totally a puzzle game, but it's much more puzzle game than I expected. Okay, need just, uh, one more, and then I can figure out how to get back up there. Which is... like this. Okay, so that's the long hallway again. Uh, still need to find the one. Remaining one. And then I need my right arm. Probably say it's it's not under the boxes because that would be a little lame. Um, nice doll head. Nice floating eyeball. No luck there. I thought that was a light. Okay. This is the next portal. God damn. The presentation. It's, 
<laughs> it's so well done. to complete the circuit board. Huh? Grab to complete the circuit board. Um... Okay. Not sure what I'm grabbing yet, but... Oh, up here. Up here. Okay, so one... does that and then we do that okay unique puzzle solving wow I thought this was just gonna be a scary weird like five night at Frederick slash uh, that weird Furby game I played no it's a little different jeez needs to clean up a little bit of the jank on aisle 5 and then this is the next portal make a friend I want to make a friend Oh, um, that, that looks like death. We're not going to do that. Go up here. I, uh, I don't know if it was the pink VHS that reminded me, but I'm... I'm watching the Squid Game because it was recommended by a lot of people and also I don't know. No other good no other reason. It's I'm on episode three. It's it's pretty good. It reminds me of like an old boy meets Battle Royale meets Cube. So, Stella, what made you want to work at the Playtime Co Factory? Playing with toys when I was young was so magical. I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. It was such a great feeling. And being able to work at a toy factory, somewhere that can provide kids with that same experience, that's a pretty great feeling too. Sometimes though, I really, really wish I could go back. To being a kid, I mean. And it's weird, because adults are just kids, but older. I don't think anyone uh -huh. ever really feels like an adult. But your body just gets older older and then you die oh poof <laughs> poof human bodies just can't stay young forever there's things though like some trees that can stay alive even while being way older than the person I mean, the oldest people to ever live are still younger than those so i guess everyone is always young relative to something right all right i think we're getting a little off track <laughs> Good interview. So the puzzle here is to figure out how to get the electricity from here to there.
little jank. It's it's a little jank's giving, truthfully. See now, why didn't the other hand do that? That's what I needed. I needed the other hand to do that. So I need it to go like this. Pretty sure I need this hand too. Oh, it's getting stuck. The hands are getting weird. Fucking hell, man. I need to be able to move this. Oh, I can just do that. Okay. Oh. Oh, no. What have I done? What have I done? Oh boy, okay, so puzzle solving plus jank plus frightening. Got it. So, wait, I did it before, but... I was able to move it this way. What? I don't... I don't know. Alright, game, whatever you say. getting stuck on invisible things now. Yeah, th this game has a jank problem. Well. Alright, um... I was kinda hoping this would be more spoopy than puzzle solvey. Just for what kind of segment I was planning. Not to say that this is at all bad. It's just... Right now, I'm... I'm just trying to figure out how to make all this stuff work. And I'm getting very confused. See, now that doesn't work. I don't know, man. <laughs> okay. All right. Gonna spend another couple minutes on this. It's fine. We're gonna make it work. Okay, so... So let's think about this logically. So, I can't keep the hand there. Unless it's electrocuted already. Or electrified. Now I can drag that down. Okay. Okay. Can do that. I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. No, really, I got it this time. I know what to do. I know what to do. Okay. Poppy playtime. So we do that, right? 
we, we want to go across here first. Then here. Then... That, oh my god, it took that long. Knees explode? Welcome to Pee Wee's sleigh house. Like, not like a sleigh ride, like, like, death. So I guess now we make... Now we make a toy. Also, I watched the second half of the new Halloween movie um, because I got to my uh, my friend had like a movie night with several, you know, several other people, and I I got there late. And uh, that second half of that movie was a couple decent kills, but the dumbest characters I've seen outside of Prometheus and Alien Covenant. Like, they were as dumb as the script needed them to be. And I liked the previous one well enough. It was fine. But, yeah, this is, uh, uh not great, in, in my opinion, of the second half. Maybe the first half is better. I'll have to watch it one day, maybe. But there's already another one being made. Apparently this this whole new Halloween series is gonna be a trilogy. <laughs> Danger, do not enter. Nobody leaves without a toy! Is that a threat? Oh, fuck. Um... Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing! There is a flashlight. <laughs> the animations on that thing were fucking phenomenal. Whoa! Oh. Congratulations, you have been eated. You're a mean one, Mr. Cringe. You really are quite fail. So I have a note in my uh, notepad that says Mr. Cringe, and I th I'm pretty sure that's what that was. Don't turn back. Whoa, whoa. Fuck you, game.
Oh my god. Okay, okay. Okay, so I gotta do that again. Fine, fine, fine. I mean, it's a little confusing, but if you follow the writing, it's not too bad. You just need to do that and not slow down. Can it crawl? What? No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. That was a very good, fucked up sequence. That was very, very good. Loss. It was something about the way it moved that made it even scarier than it should have been. And again, horror games don't always... They don't always do it for me. That was pretty fucking cool. And then there's this. I'm sorry, what is this doing in the factory? Oh, there it is, the poppy doll. <laughs> you opened my case. All right, that was pretty good. Um, there was about 10 minutes of that where I was stuck. And that was mostly my own fault, but I'm gonna say that that was pretty great. It's got a lot of potential. And the puzzle solving is cool, using the hands. Um, I would, I would play this if it was finished, but I would also need to actually say this has to be its own segment. Because this game is actually really well developed. So, um... So yeah, that was, um, Poppy Playtime Playhouse, whatever the fuck the name of this game is. It's a prototype. It says, Playtime Prototype 4. Oh no, that's just the name of the program itself. So yeah, who knows, maybe next year there will be more Poppy Playtime. Good mix of Five Night at Freddy, that weird Furby game, plus Willy Wonka. So, not bad. Okay, next up is a game called Burger and Frights. It's basically a browser-only thing, so... It's late, I should head home. Oh, I'm on a bicycle. So hang on, we're at a, a Berg restaurant. Oh, nice. Very good.
Yep, this is, uh, normal. Who knows, for all we know, this character takes this route home every night the same way, in the same darkness. I don't know if biking in the middle of a of an expressway, like of a road cutting through the forest, like at night, is that the best idea? Isn't this how you get run over by a car? See what I mean? Not yet. Oh, okay. No, hang on a minute. This character's death has been been preordained. So that was not supposed to happen. Uh, we will be dying in a much more gruesome and terrifying way. Hmm. Who's, whose bicycle is that? For a minute there, I was almost like, is that my previous bicycle? Was that, what was that, someone biking? Again, I hear real life noises, and I'm like, fuck. It's late, I should head, what the fuck. That reminded me of, um, In the Mouth of Madness. The scene where... They're driving. And they see that old, the old boy. It's a second old boy reference tonight, and I don't know why. So why were we not allowed to head home? Why did it bring us back to uh, Burger Land? Burger Kingdom. Do you think if you start a burger place called Burger Kingdom that you might, um... You might get sued. Just asking. Is this like PT, but for bicycles and road? Oh, that's different. Okay. Good, normal. Can we go back in and just continue eating Berg? I wonder if there's any subtext. You know how, like, um, some books, like, have subtext where, like, on the outside, the book seems like it's about one thing, but then the more you think about it, the more it's actually about something else. Like, uh, for example, Moby Dick. You know, it's not really about the whale. It's about the big, fat, wet cock. And that's really what I'm talking about when I'm saying sub-text. So weirdly enough, that uh, quote-unquote joke came from a dream, and I heard it in Norm MacDonald's voice. Yeah, it's about the big, plumpy cock. So, uh... Now you know where I get my jokes from. Oh, that's nice. It's like when people ask me my favorite question, where, where do you get your ideas? I just steal them from comedians in dreams, but I do them worse, and they're not even that good to begin with.
And that is precisely why I'm stuck in this bicycle hell right now. Okay. Didn't actually expect a train. No, no, it's time to head home. It's time to head home. I have to bring these burgers back to my home. This is, uh, this is a little cool. It turned into, like, an action... run away from things game. We'll get there before the burgers get cold, I promise. Whoa. Even the, the texture of that burger. Ugh, big burger. Uh, is different. Tuanela. There were times where I was driving back from, like, vacation, and, uh... Oh, he's just dead now. That's cool. And, uh, the sky would be dark. The woods would kind of look like this. And I'm not used to, as a, as a city folk, I'm not used to having my brights on and driving around, like, dark wood wooded streets. So, it automatically creeps me out, but then I start thinking about, like, ghost stories. <laughs> and then we're having problems. Um, but it's actually less about the ghost stories and more about hitting a fucking deer. Which I very much would not like. Oh, it's the Twanella, finally. Strange. I see strange lights. There's a... Uh, whoa. Floating skull faces. It's the dead guy again. Oh my god! <laughs> Road is fucked. The bridge is fucked. The car is fu- oh god. Come on, police. Rest this man. 
talks in mouth All this like a bird Still, does this end? Please, I just need to get back to my family with the Berg. That did it. That did it. That did it. We're good now. We're good. No more supernatural. No more ghosts. Just, just burger now. Just burger. Oh no, not again. <laughs> Fuck. It really is burger PT. Note that the sign had a, like a twister on it earlier. Scarecrow, this time. Okay. <laughs> this has some of the best horror, like creepy atmosphere. I've played in a video game in a while, and it's a browser game. And it's fairly low poly. And this is more effective and creates a better mood than so many other games I've played. The, the layout of the road is different now, too. It's like, where are we going? We're, we're spiraling down. Is this turning into Silent Hill? Cool sign. Cool fucking sign. Okay, when does it get grungy and turn into fences and rust? That's the sound of my hum my hungry stomach. Oh no, it's not. It's it's that actually. Never mind. We had mouth car, and now we have large, spooky demon lady. Great. All these lost souls. Sad souls. All trying to escape. All getting fucking obliterated. Oh shit. Oh god, oh god. Game is a little, little generous at the moment. Did they just stop trying? Oh god! Oh fuck! Hands. Toilet hands, but coming out of a brick wall. You again. <laughs> God damn it. I guess you could argue this is where it got a little silent hilly. Still behind me, yes. Yep. Well, it was my time to die then. Um, oh, my God. Can we just go back into the burger restaurant? I can't go that way. Cool, 
horrible noises. It's too late. Land of Cthulhu. At this point, can you just usher me to your... to your master? Whether it be Satan, Cthulhu, Beelzebub, Honda Civic, Porsche, Schwinn, McDonald, whoever it may be. Kia Sorrento. That's my, I'll tell you what, Kia Sorrento is the most horrifying of all the Elder Gods. <laughs> no. Oh fuck, meat hooks. Oh, that's that's dis <laughs> disturbing. Sacrifice me to Kia Sorrento. not belong. You were the one driving. killed someone on the side of the road. You were just picking up burgers. It was an accident. It was dark. It was late. I am... I am... dumbfounded by how much I enjoyed this. That was really good. That was really, really good. I really just thought it was going to be a dumb little burger game. Oh my god. Um, yeah, no, that was better than, than a lot of games that have a lot of um, development and, you know, the best graphic that something about that just really worked for me and that's the perfect example of what I like to play for Spooptober games however I'm gonna have to ruin that by playing something called Buff Imposter I'm sorry. All you need to find- You need to find all the milk. Oh god, the controls. The, the mouse acceleration. Oh god. Wait, so the imposters like milk? Ugh. Why would you make your game feel like this? Is this a fucking mobile game? This has almost nothing to do with Amagus. It's seriously... Oh yeah! <laughs> this could be anything! No. 
I need the milk. <laughs> the buff imposter needs more milk to get buffer. What a pleasant encounter. And like the mazes have no rhyme or reason. This is not good. Running won't save you. Well, it saved me that time. Oh, new environment this time. Your time has come. Take me! Holy fuck! <laughs> okay, that's actually amazing. That was the best part of this, easily. Human, your time has come. The, you know what? The wall physics are, are kind of fun. I'll give it that. I'll give it that. I'll... You lose. That's fine. We we don't need any more buff imposter. God damn. Uh, okay. I want to play something called Cultic Demo. Jeff recommended a bunch of games. Um, and one of them... Well, they were a bunch of shooters. A bunch of, like, Spooptober shooters. Again, I wouldn't exactly call these games, like, horror games, but this one actually looks pretty fucking great. OBS likes to uh, get pissy from time to time, so I need to change some settings. Okay, I think we're good. Three D realms. Oh, okay. Also, that game Inscription. I have a key for it but it's under embargo for two more days. But I'm going to play it, because it looks awesome. So yeah, this is a demo of Cultic. And I'm already digging the, the art style and palette. I don't know, call me a sucker for, like, pixels, but I, I sometimes see stuff like this, I'm like, yeah, this is a good art style. There's no better art style in video games than Cruelty Squad, though. None. So this will always only be second best. Cool intro, cool storytelling. Also, is that a... Is that a fucking red 5 pistol from Resident Evil 4? A.K.A. Han Solo? A.K.A. The Mauser? C-96? I had to look up which numbers it was. I thought it was like C69? No. Eh, funny numbers or not. The smell is unbearable. Okay, 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 my head is on fire. I I love the revival of classic shooters, I really do. and you can pick up their heads and throw them. Good. Oh, you can pick up chairs and stuff as well. Go oh, hello. 
handgun. Also, they chose, like, one of the most... I don't know, I... I like this weapon. I one of the coolest... looking handguns to be your, uh, starting handgun. Keep your eyes open for secrets. Fucking hell, this game. Oh, I can just throw an eyeball. Yeah. Keep your eyes open for secrets. Oh, you can hold the attack button and get a more powerful axe attack. I really like this visual style, but I don't know if I'd be able to look at it for, like, ten hours at a time. <laughs> Not that I'd play any game for ten-hour sessions, but... So when it comes to cult first-person shooters, not cult classics, but games involving the cult, Dusk is coming out, um, to the Switch soon, which I'll be double-dipping. Time to leave. It's got some... Uh, Dusk has got some good cult stuff in it. I can't drink the toilet water like Duke. Guns blazing is not always the answer. Oh, you can slide with X. Okay, you can kick with Q. L. Items you can use. Yeah, there's the Duke. Yeah, you just have a lighter. Ooh, you could shoot that out of the air. Wow. Leaving. I'm trying to keep my eyes open for them secrets. <clears throat> I think it might only be checkpoints. I don't know if I can actually auto save. the world can be destroyed with explosives. Sten? There it is. Wow. Okay, we're going World War II weapons. This 
slow motion. <laughs> This game is fucking sick. Holy shit. Door won't budge. Door won't budge. Oh man. I wasted that TNT. The music is reminding me a little bit of Goldeneye. The door is open elsewhere. I wonder how one gets inside the armory. Okay, so we're back out here now. Found a hatchet. Can I dual wield hatchets? Actually, you can throw them. So, the more hatchets you have, the more you can throw. I just lost one. Okay, so, um, I would love to get into that armory, but I don't know how. Let's see if there's anything back here. Yeah, I might have to get this game when it comes out. Ballistic armor. And I have full health already. I'm trying to keep my eyes open for secrets. As I've been told. You know what? I'll bet there's a secret in this fucking dumpster. Yeah, I don't know about that armory. The door is open elsewhere. Let me try to get on the other side of this building and then see what that does. Yeah, the music is, like, Goldeneye, but also a little darker. And the gameplay is obviously like Duke Nukem. In many respects. I mean, it's got some Doom in there, too, but... I'd say more Duke. Ow. The art style is weird. There's a little bit of Resident Evil 4 feel going on here, too. It's just all around. It's pretty much everything I want from a game like this. Sawed-off shotgun. Game lives or dies by its shotgun. Gotta find out if this one's any good. Okay, more Sten rounds. One or both barrels.
So far, so good. It's only one shot, though. I like a nice Quake shotgun. You've heard me talk about shotguns if you've watched my stuff before. I've gone on, like, rants. Long rants about video game shotguns and how much I prefer shotguns with a little bit of range to them. There we go. Field kit, field kit, field. okay, so now that's, that's what that is. This isn't gonna take me to the armory, but it's, it was a good secret to find. Just be taking that eyeball real quick. I mean, there's just straight up noises from the golden eye sound font, I think. Close. Not quite. Like, I just want to explore everywhere. Good voxel stuff going on here. It's the truck area from before. I want to just check this out real quick. Don't know what that noise was. Don't worry about it. Need a key card. Okay, still need key cards. Cool skybox, too. Kind of hoping that would set him on fire. That looped back around here, okay. This one is really fun to play. I mean, it's a first-person shooter from 3D Realms, you know, of course. But at the same time, like, I, I can't stop playing it, so I'm gonna try to finish this level. Do set them on fire. So not shotgun again. It's a pretty hefty shotgun. It's got a little bit of range. I'm okay with it. But it's a sawed-off shotgun. It's not supposed to be like... like a fucking hunting rifle. Really? I need a key? Who the fuck... is putting gates down there? I, I am fine with it slowing down to show that. The door's gonna be unlocked with the right key.
Whoa. Holy shit. <laughs> the gunplay is pretty fucking good, too. Like, for a, a game with sprite and voxels and, like, primitive 3D stuff. You know, like, that's the stuff that I grew up with. And it's the art style that's really carrying this for me. And the, uh, the atmosphere, but also... The gunplay is really, really well done so far. Feels chunky. Reminds me of, um, Proteus. I just hate missing secrets, and I feel like I've missed so many. Also, this is one of those things where I... It's a bit contentious of me to say this, I'd imagine, but... Part of me likes first-person shooters with shorter levels. Like Wrath, Ion Maiden... Um... Dusk to a certain extent, but not fully. Like a lot of the revival, like Proteus even... Um... A lot of these revival first-person shooter games, the levels are way longer than, like, original Quake or Doom. Oh. Fuck, did you survive that? Yeah, definitely good combination of influences. All working together in a perfect scummy harmony. being able to shoot the axes, or the hatchets. I, I know this doesn't 100% count for like a Spooptober game, but I- I'm sorry, I, I just can't stop playing this game. It's a demo only, though, so it probably won't last that much longer. And then I will know that I missed plenty of secrets. And be perturbed. I don't like being perturbed. Also, my new gamer mouse has a, uh, a DPI kill switch. It's just a button, it's called Sniper Mode. I, I've mentioned this previously, but for a first-person shooter, now it's it's time to show it off. It's supposed to be like if you want to get like really super accurate um, shots, you just hold the button, you just move it around real slow. It's cool. I don't know if I'll be ever used to it. Like I don't know if I'll be able to play a game and get used to it and be like, oh, this is fine, because I'm so used to not having it. But. Weirdly cool idea. It's a Corsair mouse. But a really, um... Cool idea that I didn't know existed up until a couple weeks ago. I have to see if it makes me a better gamer. What the fuck? 
shit. Oh yes, yeah, skulls with candles in them. Barrel full of blood and viscera. Yeah. It's correct. A body hangs here. Allow me to help. Oh, wow. Okay. Strong bodies. Oh god. Oh god. Didn't even see them. That sounded like a Half-Life sound effect. Oh shit, bodies. They've fallen. Chainsaw? What do you mean, chainsaw? Oh my god, just got fucking mega pulped. I tried to throw a grenade at it, well, uh, TNT at it. And one of them I just didn't even light. So that, that sucked. Used field kit. I didn't though. I'll try to do it right this time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a Half-Life sound effect. Meaning, it was probably public domain for Valve as well. Nice. bit of a cheese there. Maybe a lot of one. alive. Used old key. I can't... Oh, okay. Uh, so we're going back up here, I guess. And, uh... Where is this gonna take us? So the old key does a couple different things. There's the gate key.
The only thing I would like a little bit more, um, I would like as a feature, which is a feature that gets me killed in video games more often than I'd like to admit, is, um, mouse wheel weapon switch. the fall ja damage is n either non-existent or generous. Fall damage. Fall damage is just, you know, jam that you make only in the fall. Hey, this game is fucking awesome. Damn, three kills missed. Let's see. Only three? Yeah, that's, that's about right for this type of game. I, I am going to be awaiting this game like, extremely, extremely much so. <laughs> That's my good English for you. So that was Cultic, and that game fucking kicks ass. High recommendation. Even just to try the demo, see if you like it yourself. So, carrying along, carrying on, we have a game called Slide in the Woods. Hey, we gotta get a game capture. OBS does not make this that... E it doesn't make it easier than XSplit, let's put it that way, for capturing games. So here's Slide in the Woods. This one's probably very chill. Yay. Got the fake PS1 graphics. Nice texture warping and polygon dancing. I call it polygon dancing, I don't know if there's another name for it. Lost flashlight. Luckily, it still has some battery left. Oh, the plan is to just go back down the slide, of course. That's what we're here for. God damn it, I went to this playground, and I'll be damned if I'm not spending my time going down the slide over and over and over again. Small town in mourning is mass missing persons case at local park continues to go unsolved. Reports say both children and adults missing. A detective working on the case sheds light on its peculiarity, say, uh, stating, It's as if they disappeared into thin air. He asks that if anyone has any information pertaining to the case, or if anyone spots one of the victims, to please contact law enforcement immediately. No. No. Part of me wants to know what happens if you try to leave the slide area. But I don't even feel like attempting such ridiculous things. Is that like a maggot? Like a worm? What is it? Well, I'll tell you what, the slide demon... It's just hungry. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh no! 
Is, are we going down someone's asshole? Alright, esophagus, not asshole. Esophagus. Why do we need a crawl meter? Soon something will be chasing me. That much is for sure. There can be no doubt. Or not. Oh, cool. What's this uh, ancient cyclopean monolith? A temple to the sacrifice of the slide god. Welcome to Legends of the Hidden Temple. I'll be your host. Donkey Kong. And today, you'll be discovering the secret of Henry Hudson's digestive system. Remove chain. And this all started so innocent. And now we're mur murdering an ancient trash bag god. Feed them. I don't even know where to begin. So I shallant. Nope, and, and I shallant go that way either. <laughs> I knew that crawl meter was gonna to play at some point. Chekhov's crawl meter, you know how it is in video games. I love claustrophobia. Come on, come on, come on, get out of here. It just keeps going. It just keeps fucking going. going to turn back into the slide, we'll be in the woods, and then the game will end. Do you ever think about woods in video games? Like, games woods? Oh, that was cool. Uh... Time to leave, I guess. Um, that was another good one. Maybe not on the same level as the um, the burger game, but equally interesting. 
Yeah. Yeah, that was all right. Now, I have a game that I'm going to save for Chris, uh, Christmas. What the fuck? For uh, Halloween itself, which is made by the people that made that pizza delivery game. So, I'm going to save that one, but I have more. Like, how about this game here? The Last Utopi? Utopi? I don't know. <laughs> Name Hannah Kent, age 25, role historian and archivist. Mission, the colony has asked Miss Kent to embark on a solo expedition to planet Earth. Her task is to uncover the great mystery of who or what introduced the alien plant spores to Earth. It was decided that this expedition would take place at the site where the spores began to spread, the last Utopi furniture store. This research will form the basis of the colony's Earth history curriculum. If successful, Kent's work will be taught in colony schools for centuries. Alpha to base, I've landed. Copy. Stay alert, Hannah. <laughs> Look at these... these people. <laughs> Alien Mason, founder and CEO of the colony. Mission. Mr. Mason has spearheaded this project. He's volunteered to serve as Miss Kent's point of contact. It's Colonel. It won't be my first time in a Utopia store. I'll be fine. It'll be your first time in a Utopia store like this. We aren't sure how rapidly spore growth has progressed since the migration, but... It is likely that the spores have severely altered the landscape of the store to accommodate their life. This is no longer your planet. You're a visitor in their territory now. You and your family have signed the release forms, right? Yes, sir, we have. Ugh, you know how much I hate this legal formality stuff, but just uh, to run through it one more time, the colony cannot be held responsible if our patented anti-spore hazmat suit pro proves to be ineffective against the spores. If you experience the unusual symptoms, the, the symptoms of exposure, confusion, paranoia, Loss of memory, or more serious side effects, delusions of grandeur, violent outbursts, death, etc., etc. You alone are responsible, yada yada. Be careful. Okay. I'll figure out the basics of the suit myself, thank you. I'd like to play the game now. Okay. Oh, Utopia is Ikea. Okay, how do I play the game? No, I'm kidding, I know. I'm good. Front door to the Utopia store. Looks like the automatic mechanism no longer works. I have to pry it open with my hands. Here it goes. See if this still powers on. Yes, I'm in. Okay. Corkboard covered in notices and reminders. The scanner's estimated the oldest note here is about eight years old. Two doodles are scribbled here, plus uh, plus sign in between them. Something written here too. Here it is. Shh, don't tell on me, G. Swirl plus bab. Colony scientists still don't understand how toxic gas is able to wreak so much havoc on the human brain and immune system. I guess I'm glad to be wearing the finest hazmat tech available. Don't think I want to lug TV out of the atrius, especially one with spores living inside. Spores have somehow found their way inside this TV. They're breaking through the back, too. What about this n lovely piece of furniture? Oh man, Brockta TV unit? Only 55 bucks? Sink Loudon? Sink 
so what kind of... What kind of pixie dust was the creator of this snorting when they came up with this concept? The spore's constant fluid movement never stops. I'm starting to feel sick just looking at it. There's an elevator to the upper levels of the store, but the buttons are completely rusted over from neglect. After playing Cultic, the movement speed of this game is throwing me off. Door to the janitor's closet. Blue paint on this metal sign is chipping, revealing a rusty texture underneath. It's locked. I'm sure there's a key around here somewhere. Time to take myself out of this Ikea because there is nothing I can do. Sorry, Utopi. Empty spray bottle. So it looks like the core of the gameplay is just walk around, find items, use items where they're needed. And then, um... Uncover the mystery of the spores, or maybe just defeat the spores. Let's see if we can use the spray over here. No. Is that a Slav squat? Am I playing as an alien Slav? Years ago, a couple probably one was probably wondering if they should buy this couch. I don't want to anger the spores. Okay, well, I don't think I'm going to end up playing all of this, but it's a neat concept. Okay, hang on a minute. No, I have to go through here. I mean, it's not quite a... Uh, quite? It's not quite a slide in the woods, but it's close. It's not cleat a meat in the feet. Hey, listen, sense of humor is subjective. Fuck. God. We knew the spores were multiplying, becoming stronger, more intelligent, but... They never exhibited such, uh, such aggressive behavior. If this body was needed for sustenance, the corpse would have been consumed by now. Encased in amber, unable to move, this person spent their last moments on display. A prize to be envied. If I can more closely examine the body, I can find out who this person really was. There must be some way to get through the amber. Well... Unfortunately, the movement speed is so slow, and going through that little tunnel is going to take forever. So I'm going to stop here. Um, I'll leave it up to you if you want to discover the mystery of the utopia and the spores. Cool concept, weird atmosphere. <laughs> and then there's this, which reminds me of Crypt Worlds. So, might be worth checking out. Okay, that's the last utopia. Um... Something here called the Salt Order, which is, again, just me when I play Mario Kart. I feel like I might have played a version of this. This was like, I think, a haunted PS1 demo disc game. Because it has, um... 
a fake PlayStation intro. Okay, so this is a demo as well. It's just hard to remember the names of everything. Already off to a pretty good start. Smooth first person, non-shitty mouse controls. Pixels. Strange creature, cult people, things, squid game. Park prisoner. Us, witches of the salt decree, hast decided thy penitence. Thee shalt enter the realm of the endless tree. To reclaim our ancient grimoire. Inner deep below its um, cursed depths. For this prisoner, thee shall be granted freedom or a tragic fate. Yet fear not, the witches are merciful. We're bestowing thee with our most ancient magic. May the salt protect and guide thee to the grimoire. Oh, okay, you actually have to, like, draw salt. Okay. It's a shovel. You know, we're gonna be digging under the tree, right? Is there any game that allows me to draw where I don't almost draw a penis. Get in the church before the bell rings four times. Salt will protect you. Draw lines on your path to stay safe. Keep the beast in your sight. Lore. It is told the only way to the endless tree is through the tunnel dug in an abandoned church, but its surroundings have been cursed by the dark powers of the realm. If you stay in there for too long, you'll become part of the curse. Okay. Simple. Effective. Rustic. Fuck. Okay, so I haven't played this. I would have remembered this. Oh, fuck you. Can't cross the salt, son. No! First bell. Blood trail on the ground. I hope I didn't just accidentally free the previous tree. Hey! <sighs> okay, that got me. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> what are you doing?
cross that line, fucker. So that's good, because I only used some of my salt. I have a salt shotgun that kills bugs, if I needed to. You know, I don't use it frequently, but that spotted la a lanternfly thing... That... gets fucking pulped by that gun. It just shoots- it shoots salt! How'd you- How'd you do that? Salt Witch's spell book. It's not the grimoire. Can I have it? It won't it won't let me take the spell book. I want to learn how to do salt magic. Okay, well this is a very cool concept for a video game. Um, I'm glad that I don't have to continually look behind me at all moments, but sometimes you do. Oh no 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 no, I just got the the key. I had just gotten the key. That's unfortunate. That actually almost killed this for me. A checkpoint would have been nice. A little bit. You know, like right after getting the key. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I just got cl too close to that tree. I get it. Still sucks, though. Alright, I, I think I've had enough of this. It's cool, but, um, I just got too, I just got too impatient, truthfully. And, uh, I feel like that last, just as I got to the door, the tree getting me was just, uh, could you have just, like, given me a second to react? But it is a cool concept. I'm sure it gets even better, but from what I played... I know I didn't finish it, the demo, but it's cool. It's really cool. So, I'm going to play one more. It's another demo. And it is one. <laughs> oh, you're going to love the, the splash screen for this. So it's called Blood West, and uh, I think it's a yeah, Cowboy Demons game. So, um, it's a skull, skull titties. Alright, welcome to Blood West. Use WASD and shift and space to jump. So, I think this is another first person shooter in the classic style. And I'm already stuck, and no, I'm not. Okay, I'm good. Oh, it worked. It worked.
worked. And the idiot in one piece. Oh, me. You mean us? Nothing but an amalgamation of souls. Of souls! The question is, who are you? The answer is, you're undead. We brought you here by means of our immense powers from whenever place you've been before. We know of your exploits and achievements. Your fame reaches wide across the country. The nasty rumors about you reach even further. You're our ace in a sleeve. Before you ask, though, we cannot send you back. Not yet. See, that's the nature of every summoning. It must have a reason. And a reason you have. As an undead outside of others' influence, you will be our torch in the dark. Your spark will become the flame to purify the rot of this world and free us from the unending cycle of despair. Okay. Search for That's a lot of stuff. Lurking in this world. Smell the sulfur in the air. Taste the corruption. Understand the shattered reality. Sense the vitriol staining the remains. Okay. Only then you will be free again and able to leave. Thank you. Thank you, Totem. Okay, so I'm going to sneak past the enemy. So some of you may be like, well, why does every first person shooter have to be low poly? with pixel textures. Well, I'm sure you could arrive at this conclusion, but it's easier to develop for a smaller team. And it can still look pretty good, especially with good lighting. Like, look at Valheim. And um, it also strikes a nostalgia chord, so it serves multiple purposes, and I do think... Oh, good. I do... I do think that with the right combination of post-processing, it can really be great. Okay, so like oh, Cultic, good. your first weapon is an axe. This time, though, you have an inventory like Diablo. Huh. Two weapons and a slew of accessories and artifacts. Okay. Two types of attacks, light and heavy. Cultic, this is not. Will stop me. But hey, you get a totem. It's like Dark Souls. Ratchet's death. Ratchet's death. So while this definitely has some darker aspects and has monsters and spoops and blood, it is not specifically. That'll come in handy. It, it's not specifically spooptober or horror. Necessarily, either. Earth. Better stay dead, pal. God, you fucking one-liners. Just constant one-liners. Also, the Diablo slash Resident Evil Four inventory. Good ammo. Might be cool. You can never have too much of those. Too much of revolvers. There's different types of ammo. You can switch between. Oops. You're now in a safe zone. They're rare and precious. You can talk, gather information, and trade and stuff. And you can talk to your totem friend who will just not stop talking. New fates around these parts? Come in. It's safe here, unlike most of this area. You one of those bravados looking to make a quick buck? Just don't come back to me crying about all them monsters. All I care is that I get my share and I stay out of trouble. Listen, there really isn't much to say. 
you certainly figure this place ain't normal or safe. Don't expect a warm welcome for the locals either. But if you know your stuff, you can make a coin or two pillaging and scavenging. Or killing monsters if you're so inclined. And if you really want to- Let's trade. Uh... I can't afford any of this stuff. No, that's, that's fine. I can tell that the loop of the gameplay, like, with the resting and trading and, like, the inventory management stuff, is gonna end up being cool. You came here faster than we expected. Good, good. Follow the tracks and you shall see the ruins of a once thriving town. Okay, so I'm, I'm, uh, you know, going quick. This area will be available in the full version. So while I am going quick, what I'm trying to do is get a feel for the gameplay and, uh, also, I do have to go. Alright. That's the feel for the gameplay. <laughs> Didn't even see him! Hurt him! Let him kill me! Again? Seems my strength has dwindled. Lament your poor soul, for there is a stench of a curse upon you. It could be arranged, yes. We would even do it for free. But we need a certain thing. Let's see. We need to call upon a mighty bear. For this, we need you to kill with brutality. Crush the heads of the... To lift the curse, I need to kill some monsters with headshots. Okay. Yeah, I think I can do that. Did you see that fucking thing? It had wings. Ashes to ash. One and done. Whoa! Oh my god, the gameplay is like right in the very beginning of this demo is already like <laughs> take a couple hits and you fucking die. I might need to trade. Find a solid piece of iron. Price is fifty dollars. That's all I have in this entire world. It's fifty dollar. That seems a trifle expensive. Put that down before you hurt me. Ashes to ashes. Okay, now I can go back to the Totem of Souls. And, uh... What? Let's stretch those days. It's now harder to sneak around unnoticed. You're back, and you did what we asked. Okay. All right. Well, they don't really give you a whole lot of a chance to adapt before you get yourself killed. the title screen person. The 
have any fucking ammo for this? Uh, even the health is not an instant heal, too. <laughs> like, this game wants you to fucking suffer. Very limited weapons. I see what they're going for. I don't know if this is my exact style of game, but I could get into it. Whatever gets the jobs done, I will need that. I will need that. What, a silver plate? I guess I could sell it. Can always do with some more bullets. <laughs> this guy's fucking voice. Good. It's like and ASMR. Yeah, we, we take our time when we reload in this game. We wouldn't want you killing things too quickly now, you hear? Let's put these to good use. I will need that. I don't like that thing at all. I don't like its noises. I don't like the way it looks. I have a, a bird feather now. It, um... How do you... Increases stamina regeneration by 25%, but lowers max stamina. Bus uh, rusty revolver. Busty revolver. Uh, revolver. I can see this getting pretty addictive. Again, while it's not exactly a horror game, I've had a couple fucking jump scares already. Like, it's definitely made me jumpy. Even though my name is actually Pumpy. Why wouldn't there be fall damage? What the fuck is wrong with me? to sell. So when you sleep, when you rest, I think enemies respawn. Scum of the earth. Yeah, tell me about it. Fucker. Not the bandage. So you you actually bleed and lose health. Jesus. A little bit of Dark Souls in here with the checkpoints. 
a little bit of Resident Evil 4 with the inventory management, Diablo, um, some Thief. A little Fallout, too, because you're collecting stuff to sell it. I'm sure there's plenty of other immersive games that, you know, do the similar things that I'm missing, but... It's cool. I, I like this a lot, even if the difficulty is in the first 10 minutes, like, already really, really difficult. Some would say a very specific phrase to me about Gildgut. They would say, I don't know what that means, but they would say Gildgut. Feathers do not stack. Trader will pay for this item. A monster tooth? There be spirits at Can that church. With some more bullets. Lead the freak. Jeez. So there was a button to change ammo types. And yet, I can't figure it out. Let's see, what kind of ammo is this? Silver short ammo. This is, um, damage in uh, inflicted on spirits increased. I believe there are spirits here, so I would not mind being able to switch. It said R, but R is reload, so... Oh, it's E. Still fucking bird creatures here. Yeah, this doesn't seem like a good spot for me to uh, try to clear out now with my limited ammo and uh, skill. Oh. oh. This is like the polar opposite of cultic. Stay down. If you think about it. Stay dead. Completely different type of gameplay. Whoa. Oh no, you didn't see me. You didn't see me. You didn't see me. Ooh. You didn't see me. slow. <laughs> My god. Uh, it's just a skeleton in here, that's it. Can always do with some more bullets. <laughs> I can't get enough of this guy's fucking ASMR voice. Can always do with some more bullets. Okay, so we got, um... <laughs> fucked. That was... brief. 
feel like I'm getting tired much quicker. Oh, we have a new curse now. Cursed again, are we? It could be arranged. Let's see. The spirit of Great Cat looks upon you. Kill the accursed ones in a way that... Okay, so be unseen. Something's in the air. Sell all this, sell that, sell that, sell that, and sell some of those. Um, yeah. Buy some bullet. Sell a gold nugget. Golden coin. Oh, these potions cost a lot. Shit. Max stamina increased by 50%. I'll take that. Oh, wait, what kind of ammo is this? Golden shot ammo. Damage inflicted increased by 100%. Oh. Going for a fucking high roller build here. So yeah, enemies do respawn. Which is where the, the again, Dark Soul. Ashes to ashes. Crust to crust. To rest. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Your name is John Cowboy Dark Soul. Cursed again, are Ah, we could. We seek the cursed gold. The shy. You got the gold. Bury it beneath his totem and we shall. Shame. I need cursed metal. Yeah, so you can't go in guns blazing. And then just immediately come back after death. And your enemies will be gone. That's not how this works. This this works like fuck around, get shot. Die. And then you get cursed. Oh good. Ammo. Mm -hmm. Ooh, done. Ammo. You better stay dead, pal. I will rid this land of you. Oh, that hit me? Oh, God. Jesus. I lay thee to rest. Sound needs a little bit of work, I think. Some of the sound effects are, like, nigh inaudible. And it's not just because I have my sound low, because I'm pretty sure this is at 100%. Yeah, the sound effects are just low. Job done. And stay there. there you go.
Luckily, their spatial awareness is not so great. How do you uh, live? How can you live? Oh, motherfucker. Welcome here. Let's put these to good use. Does loot respawn? That's the question. Not sure if that does. Keep expecting the Spider-Man theme song to start. Let's put we these to have too much of those. Let's put those to good that. Okay, how does how can he he speaks twice? This guy. I guess the goal is to be able to be confident enough in your abilities to raid this church. Which, of course, I am not. These shotgun shells apparently damage spirits. Dread. Wonder if the spirits will hear me. Souls from Doom. It doesn't help me that they go through walls and I can't shoot them that way. Ah! Yeah, I don't know. Alright, well, there's still probably a lot of stuff I could have done. To have, uh, improved my situation there. Hey, I removed my curses, because I did one of the things. It's- this is a cool game. And, uh, I really like a lot of what's happening here. It could use maybe a little more balancing, but... Otherwise, I'm really impressed by this. I think it has a lot of potential. It's fun. Kind of. Uh, it's a little frustrating. But it's extremely good. And, um... Regenerates 1 HP per 2 seconds. That is good. We'll just get that. Regenerates 1 HP per 8 seconds, but lowers max HP. Now this one's much better, but I think I'm gonna try to save and exit here. So you get the idea. Again, doesn't really fit into the Spooptober thing. So much, a little bit, but I loved it. Almost everything I played tonight had something cool in it. And I might be a little hypercritical of certain types of gameplay, but um, that was that was a lot of fun. So thank you for watching Spooptober games. I have more for the future. There will be another of these showcases at some point, including um, inscription, which will get its own stream. Thank you if, if you submitted a Spooptober game. And thank you for watching. And thank you for continuing to watch and for the continued support. I appreciate it very much. I haven't really streamed a lot lately at all. I've just been doing videos, but, um, you know, eventually Cyberpunk will be finished. Eventually.
Goodbye.